But Cooper still fights his battle in third position. As the little two-stroke motors are route to the busting limit. Cooper there just slips the clutch to get the revs up again. Jams the brakes on. Disc brakes on board the shafts, of course, to slow these carts down. But often you lock the wheels, and that's where the speed's scrubbed off. As yet again he hurtles over that bump and hopes that the frame of the cart won't shatter. Difficult for vision there too, with the sun coming down over Peel Hill. It's known as the Sunset City, and you can see why. But now at the front it's Pritchard who's got the lead, number 58, and Kipper must wonder what he's got to do. Just look at the pounding he's getting. On with the brakes and hard right onto the Peel Promenade. And that's another hazard. Good job was on the camera and not his visor. The rest of the field swerve through this. Pritchard still in the lead. Pritchard from Jensen it is. Will that be the finishing order? Into the last stage of this race now, the 250 International. Peel Castle in the background there. And now we've got some company. Les Cooper has caught up some back markers here. They're still going at a tremendous pace as well. And just look at the acceleration. The power to weight ratio is extraordinary, of course, in karting. No weight and oodles of power. All four wheels off the ground as they go over Queen's Drive. And can he get him? Yes, he goes for him. Has a look. Does him. Down Queen's Drive. And through the chicane where to put a wheel wrong is enough to spin you round and finish your hopes for good. Down, down, down onto the harbour side. Past the Viking Longhouse. Still full board now, watch his right foot under the brake now. And retards from 120 to about 50. 